And for more on that, we're now being joined by Mr. Chandramuli, who is the Census Commissioner. Thank you so much, sir, for, for joining us. Now, the rate of growth of population has come down in a fairly satisfactory fashion, but are we still very far from the point when we can say that we are actually stabilizing our population? Uh, well, it's uh, still some time in coming. The population stabilization, it is just a significant thing in this census that the uh, growth rate has sharply come down and more so in the uh, most populous states, the so-called EAG states or Empowered Action Group states. After decades of stagnation, they have also started slowing down the uh, growth rate. So we have had uh, decreases, sharp decreases in UP, in Bihar, in Rajasthan. All the EAG states have shown a decline this time, which is very significant which uh, say, uh, sets the uh, trend towards a decline. But I don't think we have uh, reached a stage where we have stabilized. All right. So the worst performing states doing a bit better now, and that's, that, that's good news. Now, the growth of literacy that we have seen in this period, is this also one of the best periods for the growth of literacy? Uh, the literacy uh, growth rate has been pretty impressive in almost all states. But the point which I would like to highlight is that the gap in the literacy between males and females, that has uh, narrowed, which means the female uh, literacy rate has gone up by almost 12 percentage points, whereas the male literacy has uh, gone up only by 7 uh, uh, points. So which means the gap between the males and females is uh, steadily uh, narrowing down. And this is a very, very positive trend. Right. I just want to turn to the sex ratio now. And while the overall sex ratio may have uh, improved a bit, in, the, in very young children, it seems to have gone down very sharply. Is that a cause for concern? Uh, well, the uh, general sex ratio, if you take the overall trend in the country, it has improved from 9.33 to uh, about 9.40, which is a seven-point increase, which is a very good uh, trend uh, as far as the adult uh, females are concerned. But the child sex ratio, as you have very rightly put it, has been a declining uh, trend right from 1961 onwards. And it had reached uh, an all-time low in 2001. But what is distressing is that it has fallen much below, 19, uh, below 2001 from 927 to about 914. This 13-point decline is indeed very, very distressing. Though some states where the focus was very high after the last census, like Punjab and Haryana, they have shown a slight increase. Though they continue to remain at the bottom of the table, they have shown a slight increase in the general sex ratio, while all other states have shown a decline. NDTV's cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free. NDTV.com slash apps.